Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be comparing two main coloured pencil brands for you which is the Caran d'Arche Luminance pencils and the Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils. These are probably the two most popular coloured pencils for artists to use and I'm going to be comparing their colour range, price, build quality, light fastness and so much more as well and also give you a little demonstration using both. So I do hope that you find this video useful, especially if you are a beginner to coloured pencil or if you're considering buying either one of these brands. Also, I do have review videos on both these coloured pencil sets, so if you want to check out those videos, they are listed in the description. Okay, so the first main difference between these pencils is their properties. So the Luminance pencils are wax-based pencils and the Polychromos pencils are oil-based pencils. So they are slightly different in their texture and components. So there are going to be things that the Luminance pencils are better at and some things that the Polychromos are better at. And I'll talk a little bit more about that a bit later on in the video. Firstly, I want to talk about their build quality and compare the two pencils because build quality is going to be the one thing that you'll be looking for in pencils. You want pencils that are durable and are going to last and I find that both pencils are fantastic and have excellent build quality. They both have a strong wooden casing around the lead and that's important because if you drop a pencil you want the lead inside to be protected to limit breakages. So both the pencils also have a wooden casing on the end of the pencil as well so again that gives both pencil brands extra protection in case you do accidentally drop them. Both the Luminance and the Polychromos also have a centered lead inside of the pencils and that is extremely important because if your lead is off-centered, as soon as you apply pressure to the pencil, the lead can't handle the pressure and will break. So it is something that we see a lot with Prismacolors because the lead isn't centered, but thankfully both of these brands are. I also have to say I think both pencil brands are presented beautifully as well in their tins and all of the pencils fit nice and snug in the individual trays they're in so they are very well protected. So if you are travelling with them they do have that added protection with the pencils being nicely slotted into place. The one thing I love about both pencil brands is the fact that both pencils can be sharpened to a really fine point. And that's one thing I look for in pencils. I hate using blunt pencils, so I want pencils that can sharpen well and retain their point. I personally use the Derwent Manual Sharpener to sharpen both brands, and I find that both pencil brands sharpen to an extremely sharp point, and they retain their point for a long time as well. I can even sharpen completely blunt pencils using this sharpener, and sharpening the pencils is so quick and easy as well. I know it doesn't look it, but I was having to sharpen the pencils over my tripod, so that was a bit tricky. But as you can see, when I remove the pencil from the sharpener, it's been sharpened to a fine point, and I find I don't really need to sharpen my pencils often. The same can be said for the Luminance pencils. The Luminance pencils also sharpen to a fine point, but I do find that they don't fit into this sharpener as well, and they are a bit smaller than the Polychromos pencils. So with the Luminance pencils, I have to actually hold them in the sharpener, and it has created indentations on my pencils. So be careful if you are using this sharpener as well. But as I said, the main thing is that they can be sharpened really well and they actually hold their point too, even though they are wax pencils and a softer lead. So now what about blending with a solvent? I use solvents all of the time in my drawings, especially when I'm drawing fur studies or animals, and I like to use the Zestit Pencil Blend. I find that both pencils blend out really well. I'd give a slight edge to the Luminance pencils personally because they are wax, so they're softer and more creamy. And I find that when I blend them, they blend out a lot quicker. However, I do find that the Luminance pencils can look a bit patchy after using a solvent, whereas the Polychromos look a lot richer and more pigment stays on the paper. So you'd have to apply a couple of layers of pencils with the luminance to retain its colour. But all in all, I think both pencils blend well with a solvent. Okay, so now I'm moving on to a demonstration and for this I drew the same picture with both pencil brands. So one frog I drew with the luminance pencils and the other frog I drew with the polychromos. 
I found with the Luminance that the colours blended a lot softer and more easily than the Polychromos pencils and I really liked how much I could lighten areas up with a white pencil or overlay lighter colours over the darker colours. I find that the colour pigmentation I get is very rich and vibrant and it was so easy to apply layers and then burnish into the paper as well. I did also use an embossing tool to help preserve some highlights and I felt that the highlights showed up really well. I also do feel that I had a lot more choice in terms of more earthy tones in the Luminance set but I did feel the Luminance was lacking more vibrant tones which was a shame because the frog was so nice and colourful. I would have also liked to have had more darker values and I definitely feel like I got more darker values in the frog I drew with the Polychromos pencils which you'll see in just a second. I do also feel that it was harder for me to get in more finer details with the Luminance pencils as well because once you start to add a lot of layers the colours really start to blend and mix together so it is hard to get in those really precise details. But on the whole I did love how this little frog turned out using these pencils and as you can see the benefit to these pencils is definitely getting in those highlights. So next we are moving on to the frog in Polychromos. Like with the Luminance pencils I really liked how vibrant the colours were and they were great to layer and also I had no issues with burnishing either. The Polychromos have so many vibrant and expressive colours which is great for colourful pieces like this but it would have definitely been nice to have some more earthy tones like the Luminance pencils for those shadowed areas. I also really do not like how translucent the white pencil is. If I'm being honest I just find it completely useless and even when I press hard on the paper it just does not lighten areas up well. So make sure that you do leave areas white or pretty free of pencils if you want to preserve highlights with the polychromos. One great thing about these pencils though is that I found my indentations with the embossing tool showed up much more clearly and I think it's because these are a harder lead and fill in less paper grain. I also loved how dark and intense the black pencil is. It is an amazing pencil for really dark values and I found it much easier in general to get in dark values. I would have definitely liked it if there could have been some lighter tones in there though but again these are great pencils for drawing just about anything that you want to. Okay so whilst I'm finishing off the frog I'm going to talk more about the price, open stock and colour range for both pencil brands. Firstly I think both coloured pencil sets has an amazing colour range. The largest set of the Luminance pencils is 76 and the largest for Polychromos is 120. So there is quite a difference there but honestly I don't think the colour range is an issue at all. You get a lot of every colour and tone in both sets but I'd say the Luminance is better for earthy and fleshy tones and the Polychromos has the edge on more vibrant colours. Both pencil sets are easy to find and buy as well. I personally get mine from Amazon and the great thing about both pencil sets is you can buy smaller sets like a set of 12 all the way up to the largest sets and you can also buy open stock as well. I love buying my individual luminance pencils from Ken Bromley Art Supplies. They are the cheapest individual pencils from this set I have found and they have been so quick and efficient with delivery in the UK as well. The Polychromos again I buy from Amazon. At the time of filming in October the set of 120 pencils is almost £160 which is actually the same as the Luminance pencils right now but like I said you may find them cheaper in sales at certain times. As I said you can buy smaller sets or treat yourself to the largest set or you can buy individual pencils open stock as well and they are around £2 per pencil on Amazon so quite a bit cheaper than the Luminance pencils. So now we're going to talk about light fastness and light fastness is definitely something you need to think about if you are considering buying either of these pencils. Light fastness is a pencil's resistance to fading in natural light over time so you want to invest in pencils that have a good light fast rating so you know your work will last a long time. The Luminance pencils I believe follow the ATSM scale and all of their pencils are rated at a 1 or 2 which means that all of these pencils have an excellent or good light fast rating and will last years and years down the line. The Polychromos pencils follow the blue wall scale which is slightly different where they grade their pencils at a 3 to 1 
a three is excellent, a two is good, and a one is going more into the fair for light fastness. Thankfully, all of their pencils apart from two are rated at excellent or good. Just two are rated at fair. Okay, so before I sign off, I'm gonna do a best and worst for these pencil brands. So for the Polychromos, my favorite pencil is the black pencil, and I can't do without this pencil as it's amazing for those dark values. If you don't own these pencils, definitely consider just getting that black pencil as it is honestly amazing. There are a few pencils that I don't like though, and that is the white pencil, as it's very translucent, and I also don't like the copper, silver, or gold either, because I don't like the way the pencils lay, and they also produce quite a lot of shine as well. For the Luminance pencils, I also have a best and worst pencils. My favourite pencil has to be the white pencil and the buff titanium pencil, as I find that they are very opaque and they're amazing for highlights. I would definitely recommend you grab yourself a couple of these pencils at least, even if you don't own the Luminance pencils. One pencil that I really don't like though from this set is the Castle Earth. I find this pencil is very scratchy and doesn't have the same texture or consistency as other Luminance pencils. Whether that's just me or not, I don't know, but I really don't use this pencil. But anyway, I'm just coming towards the end of this video now and I really do hope that you found this video helpful and picked up loads of helpful information on both pencil brands. I have to be honest, I love both pencil brands and I think either are a great investment for you. I think for me though, I get the most out of the Polychromos pencils, but that's more because I draw animals and I find them better for that. But if you are a portrait artist, you might find the Luminance pencils are going to be better for you. I'd be really interested to know if there are any other brands you'd like for me to compare or any products you'd like for me to review. If you've got a suggestion, please let me know in the comment section below. And as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are new around here, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you never miss an update from me. And of course, I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Bye everyone.